Hi guys, it's producer Draco and I am on the red carpet of X-Men Apocalypse. That's the theme tune actually. We are going to be talking to this guy, Michael Fassbender, aka... Wait, what's his name in this movie? Magneto. Magneto. <laughs> I totally know what I'm talking about. Hey Michael, how are you going? Welcome to the Hit 30. Don't take this the wrong way, I never seen an X-Men before I saw this last week. Now, I'm 100% obsessed with them. I saw three of them on the weekend. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> a, a little bit. Uh, what do you think people love this? Why do people just love this, these movies, this franchise? Um, I think, you know, really, primarily I think it's because of this concept of uh, people feeling disenfranchised or, you know, uh, pushed to the outskirts of society, not accepted, um, feeling awkward, uh, I think all of those things are universal themes, and, um, and I think that's what pe what draws people to it, uh, as well as you know the sort of cool superpowers that they have and mutant <laughs> powers. But I think that that being at the core of it definitely attracts people to it. I know that's what attracted me to it. The main thing, obviously, being the superpowers, are people like I would love to have a superpower. Is that if you were like, uh, if you could have great power comes great responsibility. That's a different film. That's such a dad thing to say, though. If if you could have a if you. <laughs> If you could have a superpower as you, as Michael Fassbender, what would it be? Um, I've said this before, I'll just take a tail. I'll take a tail and uh, I'll be happy with that. What are you going to use a tail for? For balance. But also you can use it as an extra hand, but primarily balance. Okay, and uh, of course, I, I mean, Apocalypse, kind of the star of this movie. I feel like you're one of the, the biggest stars of this, like the main characters of this movie. Wolverine 3 is coming up. If they came to you and they were like... Magneto, we're doing it. Forget Wolverine, forget Deadpool. Would you be down for a Magneto? Sure. You know, I'm down for anything. You know, if uh, if the the script is right and uh, all the material's good, for sure. Okay. And uh, just really quickly, there was uh, Ty Sheridan said uh, there was a few on set pranks. The one where you go, you put your hand down, and then you punch if you look at it. Were you were you part of that? Did you see that? I was part of it. Yes. Um, the bruises have just healed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, James is the worst for that, actually. He really just puts his, he puts his hip into it and gives it his full sort of welly. Thankfully, Hugh doesn't fully load. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, that game was going on. It was, there was a lot of bruised arms on set. Uh, just the BB guns. Um, they were sort of on the go. So anytime you came out of your trailer, you could be expected to be sort of, you know, attacked. I had a Ned Kelly moment, actually, where there was about four of them and they'd all sort of you know trap me into the trailer and I was just poking out sort of a little gap in the in the door and Nick Holt shot me right in the neck I remember it took the wind out of me I sat back down in the chair and so yeah you know but we did wear protective eyewear that's important yeah. for the kids out there Have a great night. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you. Thanks. well he's a British thespian actor does Shakespeare but he has really good teeth for a British person hmm. plus he's pretty good looking in real life Michael Fassbender Magneto in X-Men it is in cinemas now go and check it out I'm off to paint myself blue like Jennifer Lawrence see ya the hit 30.